Most of us were raised to become ordinary. And I'm not putting down ordinary, but ordinary is just not good enough for me. Ordinary is you go through your life and you fill out the forms and you pay your taxes and you do what your parents tell you and you're honorable and you're honest and you're a good citizen and then you die. Extraordinary is something very, very different. This is about recognizing within yourself that there's something very, very extraordinary that you haven't been trained to believe in to come to a place where you can apply it and put it into your life. You can go way beyond ordinary. You can go way beyond just being average. All of us are extraordinary. We just have to come to believe it. There's going to be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control control you. Get control of yourself. Get control of your emotions. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Listen, if there's only one f***ing pedestal, you must be on it. The idealized version of you must be on it. Not me, not any other guru or influencer or thought leader. You get on the pedestal. You become the idealized version. You become the hero in your life's story. If your life is a movie and the movie ends, do you want your name at the end in the credits to be the hero and the star? Or do you want it to be taxi driver number two? Figuring out who you are at your core, at your essence, what makes you tick. And only then will you be able to set higher standards of expectations for yourself. Only then will you begin to reach the milestone of impact, income, influence, inspiration. God, it's such a f***ing cool thing to be able to break through the seals of all your limiting beliefs in life. in all the blank pages that exist in your book of life. But that only happens when you start doing the self-work, when you commit to self-mastery. And I'm telling you, it's not just by reading a couple of self-help books. There's a terminology in, in psychiatry called relational illness. You've heard people say, you make me sick. Some people can make you sick. That if you fool around with them long enough, will send you to an early grave. That will drive your blood pressure up. That will turn your hair gray. Who is it you need to get out of your life? You need to ask yourself the question, what is this relationship doing to me? Might be your spouse. Might be friends. Might be your job making you sick stressing you out and you being a volunteer victim are you willing to die for it?